Ah, headwear. A staple in men's fashion. We wear it when training, to block out the sun, to rep our favorite cities and teams, and to express ourselves. I believe it's a perfect way to top off a fit and so many of you are missing out on it because you don't think that you look good. And I promise you, it's not the hat, it's you. And that's okay. I was there once before and let's just chop it down to you've been misguided and undecided. So there's a ton of variety out there, but it's mainly going to range from dad hats to bucket hats to rice straw hats all the way to beanies. And so for the sake of simplicity, this video is going to focus on this general shape. But here's why you look bad in them. You're getting the wrong hat size, you're getting the wrong colors, and you're just wearing it wrong. And so if you're going to be doing some browsing online, you want to focus on dad hats, baseball caps, fitted caps, which is going to require knowing your head size you got snapbacks and truckers which are both adjustable so let's break these down we're going to start with head size this is going to apply to fitted caps which have an actual size that you have to know that is the first step if you want to fit it hats know your hat size just head over to your cap store lids or whatever it is test out a bunch of hats get it measured you'll know what fits for you now me personally i'm not into fitted hats because your head size can change and no you're not going to turn into a bobblehead it's your hair that you have to think about so if you're growing out your hair like i've been doing you're going to need a different size cap and vice versa if your hair is thick before you go for a skin fit your hat size is going to change again now if you don't want to think basically every hat comes with some sort of adjustability whether that be a snapback with these snap buttons or just an adjustable strap and now let's talk about hat size this is going to be separate from your actual hat size i'm talking about the hat itself you see not all hats are made the exact same way and so this is mainly going to come down to brim length and panel sizing so here's two separate hats and you can already tell one is just a little bit off that's because of the panel height as you can see one sits way above my ear and high on the head while the other is closer to the ear and around the occipital bone on the back of your head you know it's that little curve at the back of your neck connecting to your head that's where the occipital bone is and you just want it slightly above that and so whenever it comes to the brim if you're wearing one that is way too long not only are you gonna bump into random things like my dog did when she had a cone on her head you're also gonna look like a goof and I don't want that for you so just keep that in mind and now we have to talk about color this plays much more of a role than you think. Some colors just look so bad on a hat. I feel like light gray doesn't work and I also feel that dark khaki color doesn't work. Even one with a white mesh can kind of look off and especially a hat with a white sweatband that's not really a preference because that gets dirty really quick and it's very contrasty. You can see it so easily whenever you lift up your head. And I know I used to wear this trucker hat. I still think it looks good to me but it doesn't look as good as other options. And that is why I always prefer a two-tone cap. Most of the time if the whole cap is one color or even the paneling is one color, especially saturated, I just don't find it looks as good. The only times that I found it looks good is when the paneling and the brim have simple colors. Ultimately, this comes down to experimentation and knowing what colors look good on you. And then finally, you're just straight up wearing it wrong. It's not sitting on your head right, like it's barely hanging on. This might work on some people, but I just find that the amount of times it falls off when picking something up is just not worth it. And then I also see people wearing it normally and pointing it up. So whenever you do this, it's going to show the tip of your hairline if you have a widow's peak or some of your hair is showing, it's just going to look very awkward. And also when it sits on the back of your head, it's closer to touching your neck. And to me, it just kind of makes you look like a kid. And then we have a debatable topic, wearing the cap backwards. I'm going to say that this just depends on you. A lot of people can rock it. I just personally cannot rock it. I look stupid. Ain't that the beauty of fashion, right? And then we got the way it fits around your head. And this is vital to nail down. You got to make sure it's not too tight and not too loose. If it's too tight, it's going to suck to wear. And your hair just won't comply if it's longer and if the hat is too loose you just look weird so just play with the adjustability i remember when i had a skin fade i could wear it much tighter it looks better when it's a little tighter to my head then i tried the same with my long hair and i look horrendous the hairs are flaring out it looks like i'm suffocating and so i just had to loosen it up a bit and then it works just fine and so after all that's here's what to look for when it comes to design there are either five panel caps or six panel caps and then the trucker of course all of it's going to be preference but what matters afterwards is the graphic graphics and the embroidery work. Again, this is all going to be preference. I personally prefer the five panel cap because the six panel one, the embroidery work is going to be sliced in half by the stitching. And I just think it looks a little awkward. And now if you're looking for the best caps, how about I recommend my brand, A Choice Made and these longevity two-tone caps. So when it comes to these caps, we really focus on the fits as well as the two-tone colors. It's going to come in black and olive. I had a ton of my friends sample different colorways and we came down 
to the black and olive colorway. And it looks great on everyone I've had try on. We've got the clean embroidery with a pop of colors from the flowers, definitely hitting that summer vibe. And if you check out the back, we've got the A Choice Made branding following the snapback of the hats. Very clean and minimal, nothing too loud in your face. And all of the embroidery work matches the colors of the hats. I just think it's such a great detail and I'm so happy at how these turned out. Obviously, I'm definitely biased. And you guys are probably wondering, Johnny, when are they dropping? Well, mark your calendars for June 30th, which is when these two-tone caps are going to be dropping and they are definitely going to sell out. And not only that, drop two is going to include our concrete trays from the last drop. We restocked a little bit of them. And we are also dropping an art piece based on Hong Kong culture, something I grew up on, watching some TVB, old Jackie Chan movies, Bruce Lee. A lot of Hong Kong culture has shaped who I am today. And I get so much inspiration from the city too, as does other forms of arts. You got anime, movies like Blade Runner and Ghost in the Shell were based off Hong Kong. And so this art piece is another super limited piece. We honestly couldn't order that much of them. And I'm never going to restock that again. So if you guys want to pick some up, make sure you click that link in the description, visit thechoicemade.com and join the family. The store is going to be live on June 30th and I would appreciate your guys' support. Now, obviously you don't have to just stick to my brand. I would definitely recommend buying a bunch of different brands. I have a ton of different brands myself just for variety options and to see what fits on your head. And as far as embroidery work, keep it simple. I've seen some hats go a little bit too far with their embroidery work and it kind of looks like a mess sometimes. A simple LA, New York, or your favorite team's hats or just some simple lettering work will do you wonders. But I also would recommend going a little bit more in the creative routes. You don't always have to stick to letters. Let's just use my hat for example. We got the insignia with the pop of color from the flowers. It's simple, but it says something different. And that pop of color might be a small patch, but trust me, it's going to go a long way. And also when it comes to caps, make sure you pay attention to the snap portion of the hat. The material should feel very nice and flexible and it should snap very nicely. There should be a satisfying little click. And for this cap, we made sure there was two rows that you can snap for more security. It's not gonna unsnap and it just feels much more premium. Now, if it's not a snap and it's something that you have to pull the strap or it's kind of like a belt buckle, make sure it's made out of a quality material. You can definitely feel a difference. This hat right here specifically has leather and you definitely notice a difference. It feels much more nicer. But if it just has a plain buckle, those are my least favorites. So this is an M.A. Leon Door hat and it has this shitty buckle. You don't, you wanna avoid this one. They're just much more of a hassle. You're better off with a snapback one. Quality of this hat specifically is really good. Minus that part, it's just a hassle to, to deal with if you have to adjust it. But it's not too much of a deal breaker since you're going to be adjusting it once, but just keep that in mind. Preferably, you wanna make sure you get one with a nice clasp. Something that you can just pull up, it's loose, you can adjust it, then push it down and it's tight. Now, Velcro strap ones feel a little bit cheap to me, but there are some that are pretty good, especially ones that have a magnetic buckle. Those always feel the most premium. And finally, almost always, a curved brim is so much better. Of course, there are plenty of techniques and hat shapers. Make sure you just do your research. But yeah, I'm telling you, if there's no curve on the brim, it just looks a little bit awkward. And so now that you made it this far, I know you no longer look bad in caps. There's no possible way. You watched a Johnny Ty video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more tips, especially we're so close to hitting 200K. Come on, help your boy out. And so until then, stay fly. Make sure you support the brand of choice made. Deuces.